My name is Dorothy Allison, uh, and I'm here to talk about Bastard Out of Carolina, which was recently published in the 10th anniversary edition. And I'm in New Orleans at the Tennessee Williams Literary Festival. Bastard Out of Carolina was the first novel that I published, and it took me 10 years to finish writing it. Um, I started it in a series of short stories, and it surprised me when um, it became a national bestseller and a finalist for the National Book Awards. Truthfully, what I really wanted to do in that novel was essentially two things. I wanted to tell a true story about family violence and incest. True in the sense that it was li totally real and accurate to my lived experience um, and took people deep inside something they didn't want to know about. And the other thing I wanted to do was put on the page uh, a memorial uh, to the family that I loved, uh, a huge violent working class family that had problems with liquor and poverty and generally being thought poorly of. <laughs> I think the biggest shock I had was I was in a little town in Framington, Maine, and this big old guy, big old guy in a painter's outfit waiting at the back. Didn't know what he was doing in this little high school gymnasium. He's waiting at the back, he's waiting at the back, and after everybody cleared a little bit, he comes up and he leans in and he says it. You told my story. And um, I told a story about a southern girl child. And he said, yeah, but you know, they mess up little boys in the north, too. And he leaned in, and he just put his forehead against my cheek. He didn't try to kiss me or any of that. He just put his forehead to my cheek and gave this sob. It breaks your heart. It just breaks your heart. And then he let go of me and he stepped back and he said, I make my kids read that book so they'll understand.